with Fordham quarterback Ryan Higgins, fresh off his pro day workout. Uh, what's your uh, initial impressions, uh, Ryan, from the day that was? I mean, I, I think we all did pretty well. I mean, I know uh, going out, I was looking forward to that last throwing session. And uh, I mean, you can't really uh, like predict the weather or anything like that. But I mean, you just, you just kind of have to battle through it. You got to battle through adversity and kind of, you know, the wind picked up a little bit. There was a little rain, but I mean, I think all in all, I think it went well. Yeah, definitely battling the conditions, the cold yep. weather, the rain. My, but, hands are, uh, my hands are still freezing right now. <laughs> so, um, you know, quite a few uh, teams on hand mm -hmm. today. Did you get a chance uh, to get any feedback from anybody? Uh, I mean, I talked to the guys from the Giants. They uh, they invited me up to, I guess they have a local day, or I think on April 10th. They said I'd come to that and work some uh, positional drills over there and throw some, some balls over there. And then I talked to the guys from the Jets and they said, that they'd be in touch. So I mean, I, I got so I got a little feedback from everybody. Everyone, you know, thought I did pretty well throwing the ball. So you can't complain. And you were at the All Star game too, wasn't mm -hmm. it? The Casino del Sol. Or? I was at the NFL PA game. NFL PA yeah, game. Out so in, talk uh, a little Carson, bit. California. Yeah, talk a little bit about that experience. That was a phenomenal experience. I mean, that game I think in two to three years will be on par with the Senior Bowl and like the East West Shrine game. I know they have the facilities there um, with the uh, with the uh, Home Depot Center, as they call. Um, and, and, you know, I think, you know, with the NFLPA backing it and sponsoring it and, you know, with the amount of publicity that they get from ESPN filming our last practice on Thursday and then, you know, airing the game on ESPN2 on uh, Saturday, um, I think that's definitely, I mean, that was a phenomenal experience for me. It got my name out because I'm a small school kid. Um, it got me some exposure and, you know, I've been talking to teams ever since. And, follow, and following in the footsteps of John Skelton, mm -hmm. who's in the NFL now, has he helped you uh, through this? Have you been able to get in touch with him? What's that been like? Oh, yeah, I've talked with John. I mean, he, we were good friends when I was a freshman. He was a senior. Um, so I've been in touch with John, and, you know, he's uh, followed my career here. He's helped me out through things, being obviously playing quarterback here at Fordham, and then through the whole, you know, all-star game process and, you know, the whole pro day process, he's kind of helped me out, gave me some pointers. Um, he actually helped me out, uh, like, creating my script that I just had thrown out there for a little bit and just kind of what NFL scouts want to see because he's been there before and he's gone through the whole process. So. Now, you know, you had some pretty big shoes to fill, you know, yep. coming in. Did you kind of feel a little pressure when you first took over? I mean, not. I think I was so young when I, when I first took over as a sophomore that it was like, you know, I just kind of didn't even think about it. But as you go on and, you know, you see John's name in, like, the record books for almost every single passing category, and you, you strive to be like that and you strive to reach that level. So, uh, I mean, that's definitely something that, you know, I set John as, like, a goal for me to, you know, try to try to get up there in the record books and everything like that, so. Do you think you have an in with the uh, Arizona Cardinals? Like, I hey, I heard Maybe. you like Fordham guys. Fordham guys, you know? yeah. Because I know uh, <laughs> Steve Scott and John's younger brother was on their practice squad, so, you know, maybe, hopefully, I don't know, we'll see. What would you say you consider to be your biggest overall strength? I mean, I think my arm strength in general. I think, uh, you know, I can really throw a ball. Um, I can make all the throws in the NFL. I can fit them into tight windows. You know, my footwork is pretty good. But I definitely think my arm strength has been something that, you know, all my coaches that throughout my career have seen and that they've, you know, harped on and drawn a place for and everything like that. So. Who were some players that you grew up watching that you really wanted to emulate? Well, I've always been a big Jets fan. Um, well, so I'm sorry to hear that. I know. It's, uh, <laughs> it's been rough these days. But, I mean, going back um, when I was in high school, I was a big Matt Ryan fan when he was at Boston College. Um, and now, you know, uh, probably someone with a big arm like Matt Stafford or Jay Culler, you know, I try to watch those dudes and see what they do and how they act, so. Now you mentioned the workout with the uh, Giants. Mm -hmm. What are you, what's Ryan Higgins going to do between now and then? You know, what are you going to work on specifically? Um, I think I'm going to harp on my footwork. I think that's big for a quarterback like me who's been in the shotgun for, you know, his, his entire college career to transition to the pro style offense. And, you know, working on my drops from center, just trying to get back there, the three-step drop, five-step drop, seven-step drop. So I think footwork for a quarterback is key, and especially tra uh, transitioning from the college game where you're in the shotgun 95% of the time to the pro game where you're in the shotgun only a little bit. Definitely. Make so. some good points. I mean, mm -hmm. on a scale from one to ten, you know, how comfortable do you feel with the three, five, seven switch step? I'd have to say when I started, I was probably like a three. But now I think I've built up to, you know, maybe a seven or an eight. And, uh, you know, I'm just, I've just been working on it every day, just working through the ladders and just doing just like consistent drops. I mean, practice makes perfect, so you just got to keep, keep, doing, keep doing drops, keep working on footwork. So. And where can we get some film on you? Do you have YouTube stuff? I know there's there? YouTube clips. Um, I'm actually going to put up uh, my own highlight tape on YouTube pretty soon, but I know there's clips from all the games that we, that we played in this year on YouTube right now, highlights and everything like that. And do you have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, anything? Mm -hmm. I have uh, Facebook and Twitter. What are those uh, handles there? Uh, well, my Facebook is just Ryan Higgins, and my uh, Twitter handle is NotoriousHIG. 
Notorious H-I-G. With, uh, with, uh, with, like, the underscores between the H and the I and the G, so. All right, Notorious H-I-G. Thanks for the time. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.